Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I want to talk about multi-PHP for your VPS. Yesterday I was having a conversation with one of my friends as well as one of our VPS hosting customers here at NameHero, and we were talking about running multiple versions of PHP. So up until Easy Apache 4, you had to have a multiple PHP app on your server. Um, most people use Cloud Linux to accomplish this, which installs on top of the operating system system, but there's a monthly fee with that, so not everyone wanted to use um, Cloud Linux. Well, thankfully, the fine folks over at cPanel slash Web Host Manager, they have integrated a new PHP selector right inside of Apache, so you can, you can set which version of PHP that you want your websites to use. So this comes along with the Easy Apache 3 to Easy Apache 4 upgrade. Easy Apache 3 is actually about to be depreciated this coming December, so if you have not yet upgraded, I highly suggest that you do so. And of course, if you have any problems, you can reach out to our support team and they can do it for you. But in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you go about doing that. So before we start, let's just take a look at our VPS hosting packages. So if you're a prospective customer, you understand the product that I'm talking about. This is, I am not talking about our basic web hosting or our reseller hosting packages. Um, the multi-PHP is inside of cPanel for those solutions because those solutions do use Cloud Linux. And you don't have to worry about that because it's all set up for you. But those customers that are using our VPS hosting, um, their own virtual private server, you have to actually configure this yourself. Or like I said, you can hit up our support team and we will do it for you. But I do think it's appropriate to have a video on the blog and on our YouTube channel so you know how to do this. And maybe you have a customer that has a VPS and you want to do it for them. So anyways, these are our VPS hosting packages. We have four different ones. Um, these are all built on our same high speed cloud that you've known to love here at Name Hero using our solid state drives protected by RAID 10. Um, we start off with our Hero 2 gigabyte server. This is great for those of you that are developers or that you know you need to have root access, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, you can get started with the Hero 2 gigabyte as your app comes out of development and you get ready to set it live. You can then migrate up to the Hero 4 gigabyte. The good thing about deploying your VPS on our cloud is you can scale up to any of these servers right inside of our interface. You don't have to go migrate anything back over. You can just simply rescale the, your current server to the next uh, level. And see, this really works too if you if you get hit for a lot of traffic. You know, nowadays with social media, it's easy to have something go viral and all of a sudden be bombarded with traffic. So if you're on a Hero 4 gigabyte, you get bombarded with traffic, you can easily scale up to the 8 gigabyte. And of course, things don't stop here. If you need to go on up even higher, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes of RAM, Whatever your needs are, we can certainly accommodate that, but you just need to reach out to our sales team so they can help you um, do that. Now, your server can still be resized in real time, but um, we provide those quotes from our sales team because those type servers are more of an enterprise-based solution. So we kind of work with your exact needs. We take a look at what you're using, what's using the RAM. So we make sure that you upgrade to something that's appropriate for your business and will allow you to scale. So again, Hero 8 Gigabyte is not the end of the road. You can go, I mean, we can go all the way up as far as we need to go to handle your traffic. But we have the most common solutions on our site. Then if you need to go higher, reach out to our sales team. They'll hit you back within 15, 30 minutes, and they'll help you um, come up with a solution that's appropriate for your business. So our Hero 4 Gigabyte, this, this and the 6 Gigabyte are probably the most ordered VPSs. Um, we see people go to the 8 gigabyte once they um, kind of exceed or kind of encroach on this um, disk space limit. Um, but 4 gigabytes, this is what I personally, when I'm doing a website, I like to have my own VPS because I like to have full root access and configure the operating system specific for my websites. So I've always been a fan of starting with about 4 gigabytes of RAM and then kind of going up from there based on my growth. I don't really recommend the 2 gigabyte for a live production server because especially with with PHP FPM, PHP Fast Process Manager that's been introduced in Easy Apache 4, um, you'll, you'll run into out of memory errors if you're just running two gigabytes of RAM. For PHP FPM to really run efficiently, you need to have at least four gigabytes of RAM, and if not six gigabytes of RAM, just to allow you a little bit of room to grow. So just keep that in mind. You know, we wanted to put a VPS package on the site that allowed for developers to have something so they could tweak it and get it ready, but we just don't really, we don't really recommend that for everyday production, live traffic use. We kind of recommend that for a developer box and so you can configure
configure all this and you can keep your costs relatively low. And then as you set that app live, you can easily scale up to the four gigabyte, six gigabyte, eight gigabyte. So that's our VPS hosting packages. Again, you're not limited. You know, you have um, a ton of different options. So um, right now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you're still using Easy Apache 3 and what you need to do. So this machine here, if you once you have to you have to go into Web Host Manager as root. So if you don't know how to get in there, again, you can ask our support team, but it's in your welcome email, and it'll show you how to access Web Host Manager as root. So if you're still running Easy Apache 3, you'll have under software Easy Apache 3 and Easy Apache 4. So if I click on Easy Apache 3, it takes just a second to bring everything up you'll see the depreciation notice. We will depreciate Easy Apache 3 on December 31st, 2018. After that date, um, we'll no longer be updating Easy Apache 3. And once they get to cPanel 78, which it's on about 72 right now, depending on um, you know what, what version you've upgraded to, they're gonna actually remove support for Easy Apache 3. So really coming at the end of 2018, you need to have it upgraded. And again, our team is standing by to help, but I am gonna show you in this video tutorial how you do it. So if you're familiar with Easy Apache 3, which many of us have used for many years and are very familiar with it, um, it's actually good news to go to Easy Apache 4 because it's a lot quicker, it's a lot easier, and you have so many different options, including the multi-PHP selector, which I'm going to display after I show you an upgraded server. So if you want to upgrade to Easy Apache 4, the first thing that I recommend is having a good backup of everything. So if you have backups ordered at Name Hero, you want to make sure that is run before you start this just in case something breaks you can revert over to that backup um, you also want to have a backup of your site so you know if you're not backing those up then get with our sales team get with our support team and they can either check or they can give you your options to make sure that you are upgraded now me personally we've been upgrading all of our own vpss here at name hero that host all the sites in the name hero network and, um, you know, we kind of, well, we did this and we didn't run into many problems, but there was one server specifically that I personally upgraded and I did run into an issue. And thankfully I had good backups and I could revert over and, and there wasn't any, or there wasn't much downtime. Um, but it's always important when you're doing a system upgrade that you do have backups and you do have a plan in place. So again, if, if you, um, you know, if you have trouble or need help developing this plan, get with our support team. They would be more than willing to help you do so. But but for 9 out of 10 people and 9 out of 10 servers that we did, um, it was very easy and a quick process. <clears throat> but with that said, you still want to do this during non-peak hours. You don't want to do this during the middle of the day when your traffic is high and strong, especially if you have an e-commerce website. You know, do this during the evening hours. Do this on a weekend. Do this when you just don't have a lot of activity on the server, just in case. So what you want to do is you just want to click on Easy Apache 4. And then you're going to have this button here to actually do the Easy Apache 4 migration. So you'll click this and it's going to run through a pre-flight check to see if it's going to break anything. So it tries to tell you ahead of time. And so you can see there's a couple of packages on this server that doesn't have an RPM. So there's a couple of modules it's not going to go over. So, you know, get with your development team. Get with, your, get with the people that you work with to see if that's okay if it's not going to migrate over. So um, you can see this server's got quite a few. So I'm actually not going to do this server right now. This is actually one of the few ones that we have on our network that I can display. Um, but once you are have decided that it's okay to proceed, then you would click and do this migrate button and then it will begin. The whole migration process takes about five to 10 minutes, um, kind of depending on what you have. Um, I like to say allow for about 30 minutes, but again, you want to do this during downtime, have good backups and all that. But it's just as simple as clicking this migrate great. Now, if you're running Lightspeed instead of Apache web server, you still have to do this. And then at the end, there's a, um, another update that you have to run. It's all automatic, but the Lightspeed software will actually install um, the necessary softwares to make sure everything is supported. So you just have another step after you migrate this if you're running Lightspeed. So that's how the migration to Easy Apache 4 is done. Once you have it on your server, I'm going to go to one now that has it. Um, if you type in Easy, you'll see Easy Apache 3 is now removed, and you'll have Easy Apache 4. So you can see it loads up kind of like Easy Apache 3. It just takes a second to pull everything, but you have this new little interface. It's um, a lot different than Easy Apache 3. Um, you can click on Customize, 
and you have you have a much friendlier interface on to add um, npm packages apache modules php versions so you can see this server has 54 555 56 70 71 you can add 72 by switching it on here um, php extensions they are a lot easier to install so if you if you have a php extension that's needed on your site you can just search for it inside of here and you can filter by the version of php so let's say you're just running PHP 7 you can unselect all these and then you could actually search for the module it just makes it easier so if you want the module for all versions of PHP you need to search for it and you'd want to tick it on here um, Ruby via passenger so Ruby is the Ruby on Rails stuff is really um, improved with easy Apache 4 so if um, you know if you're wanting to run Ruby you can add it easily inside of here now so I really like that um, that's something that's really been needed from web host manager and cPanel I'm really glad the development team has listened I know here at name hero we've sent feedback and a lot of our customers have added to that feedback so we really appreciate that as well um, but that's how it's done um, when you're finished selecting all this you'll have a review screen so so it will show you what you've added and what's going to be removed if you've removed anything. And so you can see I didn't select anything here. So it's going to show you here what you added, um, what you're going to upgrade, and stuff that's going to uninstall. So it kind of lets you know, like, hey, here's what you've added. Here's what's um, going to upgrade. Here's what's going to be removed. So you have a heads up. Once you're certain that everything is the way you want it, you would click provision and then it would provision. Now the cool thing about Easy Apache 4 is it's so much quicker. It doesn't take 30 minutes like Easy Apache 3. I mean, we're talking five, six minutes, sometimes two minutes, depending on what you've added. So that's the really cool thing that I like about it is if I need a PHP extension, the rebuild of Apache does not take forever. Like we've seen for the past 20 years since I've been working online, uh, Easy Apache's always taken a long time to run and, and to get these modules and extensions set up. So you do not have to wait forever anymore. It's a lot quicker. The multi PHP is really cool. Um, we can just type in PHP right here. <coughs> And you'll see multi PHP manager. So from inside of here, you can see the system default PHP version. Now this server is still using PHP 5.6 as default because a lot of these sites have not been upgraded. But you could click edit and change this to 7.0 or even 7.1. Um, if you scroll down here, you can look at the domains on the server. So this is a, a demo server. So I've got a bunch of different um, demo domains. So you can actually click. Um, the dom the checkbox here and you can change the PHP version for that specific domain so if you wanted to go to 7.0 you could click it and click apply and it will easily change the PHP to that version if you want to add PHP fast process manager you would just click this and set PHP FPM to on the PHP fast process manager this is a um, newer PHP handler that is now available in Apache which is awesome because it's so much faster um, it's so much faster Faster than SU or fast CGI. Um, so I recommend it. But again, you have to make sure you have enough RAM on the server. So if you're running the two gigabyte server, you know, fast process manager is not going to work efficiently. You're going to run into out of memory errors. So I don't recommend that. You want to have at least four gigabytes of RAM. If you have a lot of traffic, you know, you want six to eight gigabytes of RAM before you start enabling PHP fast process manager because you will run into those timeouts, which are a little bit frustrating. You also have this new, um, the PHP handlers. So you can see that um, the default handler for version of PHP is here. So you can see the default handler. If you want to change it, you can select it on here. None, CGI, um, or SUPHP. Um, you have the new PH, multi PHP manager. So you can click say 5.6 and you can kind of set your default for PHP. So previously you had to use a PHP any file, which gets a little bit confusing. I like it all here in this interface because you don't have to mess with any files. You can do everything right inside of here. If you need to make some edits that are not inside of here, you can click on editor mode, click on the version of PHP. And then you can add it inside of here. So this is kind of the global any file for the server. So you can add anything inside of here that you need, which makes it uh, super easy. So they've got not only the editor, but then the basic mode. So the basic mode allows you to enter some of the most common ones, such as the memory limit, such as the upload size, such as the, the upload max file size. You know, we see that a lot. People need to edit that, especially if you're running WordPress. Um, you know, where it saves your temporary sessions to and all that good stuff. So you can do that right inside of here. You know, I think the most powerful 
powerful thing is actually running different versions of PHP. And also this is cool too, because some of these are add-on domains. They don't actually have their own cPanel account. So if you have add-on domains inside your cPanel, different add-on domains can run different versions of PHP. So you also have that option, which is really cool too. So I, you know, this is really a game changer. We've been using Easy Apache 4 since it came out. Um, I think it was later last year. And so if you have a newer VPS, it's already on Easy Apache 4. And you can verify it just by logging into Webhost Manager and typing in Easy and seeing that Easy Apache 4 is there, not 3. So I think really for the last eight months or so, the Everything's came out. Um, every new serve that's spun up is Easy Apache 4. But if you were a customer before then, have a little bit older of a server, you have to manually update that, and, which I've showed you. Because if we automatically did that, it could possibly break some sites. So you want to make sure before you do this that you have good backups. That you can always revert back to the way you had it um, just in case you need to get for your developer and make some more changes before you do that. But the multi-PHP is really, really cool. Um, it will save you time. It will allow you to really utilize stuff. You can even see that Cloud Linux has an ad in here, actually, um, that that you can um, do that as well with them. So, you know, if you want to add Cloud Linux, it's I think it's about $25 a month from a license from Name Hero. You can get with our sales team and they'll, they'll get it all set up and even installed for you if you want to move to Cloud Linux. But if you want to use Apache, you know, I've been really impressed with Apache here in recent in the recent year. Um, you know, with the Easy Apache 4 and being able to run, install um, HTTP2 and have all that set up. Uh, it was last year at the cPanel conference in Florida that um, I attended a session on HTTP2 and Easy Apache 4. So, you know, enabling HTTP2 is very, very easy, which I've got some other videos I filmed recently on our YouTube channel, um, you know, about how important it is to be using HTTP2. So you might want to check that as well. So that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty easy and straightforward. You notice I haven't logged into the terminal. I'm not running anything in SSH. Everything can be done right inside a web host manager. It's really just point and clicking. So they've tried to make it as easy as possible, which again, I really like that too, because because it helps people that you know aren't familiar and are not as comfortable using the command line. So let us know if you have any questions. Again, if you're running Easy Apache 3 in your server and you want our team to do it for you, we'd be more than happy to do so. I mean, we do a couple each day for customers, um, and we'll get it done. Just give us about an hour, though. We, you know, we we um, want to do this during downtime, um, but also when when you do request this, it's not something that's just done in 15. 20 minutes, like um, the majority of the tickets. It's something that takes a little bit of time so we can kind of plan it out and make sure everything goes well because our team actually looks at the compatibility report and they try to dig as deep as they can to make sure everything's going to work as intended. So, you know, that's for your safety. So again, when you submit that ticket, just give us a little bit more time than the average ticket here at Name Hero. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this YouTube video. I'd, I'd be more than happy to share my experience with you, um, you know, what I've seen and, you know, how it was uh, the servers that I helped do as well as our team has done. Um, but you've got the, you can comment on this YouTube video. I'm gonna put something on the blog. Um, you can submit a ticket, give us a call or shoot us a live chat. So thanks so much for using Name Hero. It's our absolute pleasure offering our VPS servers to you. Um, you know, we really hope that you found or, or do find um, the big advantages to using VPS hosting. You know, if you've outgrown shared hosting, VPS hosting is certainly exciting. And um, you know, these configurations, these are these were built off of what I personally like to use and what I believe to be top of the line at affordable rates. Um, back when I ran other internet businesses before Name Hero, you could not get one of these VPSs for the prices that we have. Um, these are very affordable rates. Of course, the best rate is when you sign up for a year. Um, if you want to go month to month, the price is a little bit higher because we get discounts from cPanel. I don't know the actual cPanel license when we sign up for a year. So make sure you do take advantage of that so you save the most possible. So thanks so much for watching and using NameHero.com.